Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Hi. Can every Hi. Hi. Can everybody Hello. hear me? Hi yes. there. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to get started. Um, welcome, everyone, to this afternoon's panel, Global Film and a Gateway for Student Empowerment. And first, I want to thank Steve Hargadon and Lucy Gray for creating the Global Leadership Week. And there are a lot of opportunities to join additional events for the rest of the week. So please do check the schedule. Um, I'm Clary Von Lee, the Education Director for the Global Oneness Project. And I'm going to moderate a discussion kind of interview style on film and student empowerment. Um, I'm going to go over to our sponsors and thank our supporters. So thanks to these great uh, sponsors and supporters who are able to put on this great um, event this week. Um, for those of you who were at Edmodo yesterday, thanks for coming out. And thanks to all of these great organizations. Um, we're going to head on over to this slide. And I've enabled um, the, so if you click on this um, star, you can drag it over and you can place it to where you are, wherever you are in the world. I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds to do that. Seeing a lot of this Northern California area, Western California, um, U.S. Okay, I'm going to jump ahead here. Um, so this um, this presentation or discussion interview that everyone were participating in was part of a, an idea that Lucy Gray and, had, and um, it was a great idea to join um, organizations which have a focus on film and students um, as a global perspective. And so here we are. Um, to have that conversation. I'm going to introduce our panelists and then we'll get into it right away. So first up, uh, Jean Myers. She's the director of the My Hero Project, which she co-founded in 1995. Um, the My Hero Project provides free resources for sharing stories, art and audio and short films that celebrate heroes who are working for peace, human rights, and the environment. My Hero website um, is used in classrooms all around the world to promote positive role models and to give people of all ages a child-friendly portal on the media to share inspiring stories that celebrate local and global heroes. And prior to My Hero, Jean worked as a documentary filmmaker, and she traveled the world for NBC News. And she was formerly the director of Brown University Media Services and attended Brown University and the American Film Institute. Wendy Millett, also working at the My Hero Project, is a former elementary school teacher whose passion for filmmaking led her to get her master's degree in film production at USC. And she's been training teachers and students in multimedia and hero-based storytelling throughout the world, including Senegal, Africa, Royal Film Commission, um, in Amman, Jordan, and across the US. She's an established filmmaker, and she's developed and implemented filmmaking curriculum design for creating short hero films and a guide for hosting school-wide and local screenings. And as the director of the My Hero International Film Festival, she helps artists with an uplifting message with an audience on My Hero, which is the global portal for positive media. And we also have joining us Martine McDonald, who is the project manager for Journeys in Film. She's worked at the intersection of arts, education, and youth development for 10 years. And after earning a, a Bachelor's of Arts degree in Peace Studies from Naropa, she served as an AmeriCorps educator with Peace First and taught conflict transformation to kindergarten through third graders in LA public schools. 
Um, she served on the board of the Center of Education and Economic Equity and mentored with various global youth service learning initiatives, including Peace Jam Foundation and the Three Dot Dash. So Martine is deeply committed to bringing life to stories across children's literature and film that foster compassion and re reconciliation across differences. So to get started, first of all, I wanted to, let's talk film and stories. Um, I want to ask everybody, I want to hear from our moderators, and everyone is welcome to chime in and, and share your favorite film in the chat box. Um, but starting off with our moderators, um, what is your favorite film? It could be a documentary, a narrative, and I know this is a difficult question to ask, but maybe what's your favorite film right now? Jean, do you have do you have a favorite film that you've got on your mind at the moment? Well, I, I have always loved To Kill a Mockingbird. I mean, did a wonderful job taking a beautiful book and making a, a beautiful film out of it. Um, so that's one. I have a lot of favorite films, but that's one of my favorite classic films, To Kill a Mockingbird. And it's current right now, too? With Current um, right now? Oh, Mustang is a Mustang. Yeah. Uh, was an Academy Award nominated um, feature made by a woman who was both Turkish and French. She was born in Turkey and raised in Paris or France. And it's a beautiful, beautiful film. And I encourage everyone to see it. I think it should have won the Academy Award. So she's <laughs> a great director and it's just a beautiful film. What about you, Wendy? Well, there was a hard choice. Um, there are so many great films, but you know, I really have to admit that I am a, I, a huge Avatar fan. I felt <laughs> like Avatar was so beautiful the way it used technology and animation and, and uh, creating a world to really inspire some real issues about, you know, it was a reflection on, you know, preserving what's beautiful and sacred. So I, I just love Avatar. <laughs> I do as well. Love that film. Uh, what about you, Martine? I that is such a hard question for all of us, especially um, with what we do and also as writers. Um, I have been watching a lot of dramas lately, but in terms of youth and community, I I have always loved Will Rider. Um, that is one of our films, but I was showing it to a seven-year-old recently, and I was uh, really touched by how we have this conversation around lineage and family, and I think there aren't that many films, especially for young girls, to look towards around leadership and family. So that's been on my mind lately. That's a great one. And mm -hmm. I'll just chime in to say that one of my favorite ones, it's a very short one that I think everyone should watch, but I just recently uh, watched is the Werner Herzog film from one second to the next which is a short film on texting and driving. And if you haven't seen it, it it's life-changing. Oh, my gosh. Um, so I'll throw that out there. Um, nice. Let, yeah, so let's get started. Um, I want to, I, some of these questions that I'm going to ask will probably, you know, they're going to branch off of some of the descriptions on your bios that I just kind of tapped on. But so let's start with you, Jean. Uh, what interests, do you have personally, which cross-pollinates with your organization's mission, and feel free to also state the mission of your organization as well. Okay, so the mission of the My Hero Project is to use media, art, and technology to celebrate the best of humanity one story at a time. And currently I'm working on a documentary about an 85-year-old Holocaust survivor who is the engine behind many successful nonprofit organizations, including Free the Children, Sing for Hope. And uh, when I met her and understood that she had been a mentor, I was really intrigued and wanted to do a short film about her. And it's now becoming a feature film <laughs> about her. Um, and uh, it's been a beautiful labor of love. So my, my love of learning um, about heroes and inspiring people has connected me to some 
wonderful people and uh it's it's part of what I do because I love doing it and we just finished interviewing um Milton Chen we're here at we're talking to you from the most amazing media center it's Palo Alto High School's media center and we interviewed John, um Milton Chen who talked about his hero John Muir and that was one of the first stories submitted to the My Hero website was an entry in our guest book about John Muir, who is known as the father of our national park system. So using media and technology to connect ideas to people who inspire has been sort of a, a passion of mine for 20 years, and I keep learning about wonderful people through this project and the films that people submit from third graders to professionals and the art and the stories really resonate and seem to keep coming back and getting richer multimedia stories about people like John Muir and now this Ava Holler project that we're working on. Jane Goodall sent us a three minute love letter, um, you know, high res video to add to the film we're doing about Ava Holler. So it's just um, a collaborative medium and it's exciting where it's going and to see it come together around inspiring stories has been a really fun thing for me. That sounds great. Um, Wendy, do you have anything to, to add on to, to what Jean just said? Yeah, so your question was taking what matters to us personally and how it connects to the work that we're doing, I think. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what's awesome about working for My Hero is um, Many of the heroes that we celebrate are environmentalists and um, also people working for peace and human rights. And all of those issues um, are really dear to my heart. You know, I spent years working with Jamie's children and other children, you know, really trying to inspire them for environmental stewardship. And so, so much of what we do with My Hero is shine a light on people who are really making an effort there. And um, and so, yeah, it, it makes it makes work, you know, it makes you feel like you're uh, aligned with something wonderful when the work that you're doing is aligned with your your deepest convictions. I agree Did with that. Did we lose me? I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I, no, I, we kind of dropped you for a second, but you're back. Um, okay, and Martine, <laughs> would you like to chime into that? Yeah, no, I I completely echo a lot of the themes that came up. Uh, there, but so uh, journeys in film, we provide educational curriculum for teachers to engage global issues, um, and that sense of empathy that comes from uh, storytelling is something that has always been in my life, but particularly as a writer. Uh, prior to journeys in film, um, when I was teaching, one of the best second grade thank you cards I ever received was a, a seven-year-old writing and saying, "Thank you for teaching me to care about other people." And that's kind of stayed with me and guided me. Uh, and so now, when I look at the things that we bring out in our films, um, I'm definitely motivated around the windows and ways that we enter other people's lives through film. Uh, particularly mm. not just how we're different, but how we're the same, um, despite different cultures or languages and, and faiths, which is really great right now with um, our, our latest project, Story of God, uh, with Morgan Freeman, who's in sharing mm. with National Geographic has this great six part uh, mm. series right now happening around going, you know, various countries, uh, looking at Hinduism and Buddhism and Christianity and uh, sacred places, but looking at how do your big questions, how do the big questions we have uh, transcend everything. And so as a storyteller, you know, that's the best thing to be a part of people's lives and impact them that way. So I love mm. being here. It's really wonderful. It's nice. Those are great. Those are all great. And I, I think we can all agree that, you know, when we share stories through film, we're able to kind of make these universal connections across time and place and cultures. Um, and I'm wondering, um, we have, I, I think we could have a very long discussion about this, but I'm just realizing we have 15 minutes. But <laughs> so, um, I want to get down to the students. I want to really think about um, what are some of your favorite films that you use with students, but also, more importantly, what are some learning outcomes that come from that? And then I want to build 
to um, to the empowerment issue, or not the issue, the empowerment piece. Um, so anybody want to want to tackle that one? I have a feeling Jeannie and I might have the same one. <laughs> I hear her in the room here. Do you hear Jeannie? Anyone? Um, no. Hi. No. I'm not hearing Jeannie. No, I think you can. Yes. I, okay. Anyway, Wendy, why don't you tell them my home back home minutes? Yeah, I have a feeling that uh, Jeannie and I may have a similar film, but there's, we had a film that was Best of the Fest a few years ago, and the, the film, um, it was an excerpt from Dirt the Movie. And the excerpt is, I will be a hummingbird. And it features Wingari Mathai um, talking about the, the legend and the story of the hummingbird, who, um, in the midst of the forest fire, and it's animated and beautiful, and all the animals are standing around watching the forest burn, and the hummingbird takes one little drop of water from the pond and brings it to the fire, and back and forth. And, and Wingari Mathai beautifully shares the story that, you know, that she's doing the best she can, and uh, that's it in a nutshell. But uh, it's the empowerment. That movie really inspires that each of us can do the best we can by doing our small part. It's whether the fire it looks like it's un unimaginable, that you could never, you know, overcome it, that the hummingbird takes one drop of water at a time and at least knows it's doing the best it can. <laughs> So, Wendy, how, how do you see that message um, get translated into students' lives, and and what do they what do they do to to run with that message? What are some things you've seen? Well, you know, when for instance, when Gary Masai's story. So then you go on with we have you know that continues to get, get, bring us into learning about when Gary Masai, and she went on to. Grow, uh, plant hundreds and thousands of trees mm -hmm. and restore the green belt. And so the the sense that a, ch a kid can plant a small plant or a tree and be part of that kind of a movement. So that is taking action is a, is a huge part of what comes out of studying and learning about heroes who are activists. It's all about taking action. So I think that they when the kids see that someone can do it, that's the whole point of my hero. Then well, then I can do it. And that's why we like to focus in on heroes. I love that story. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's a beautiful image. Yeah. Um, Martine, what about you? Do you have a, a favorite? Well, you mentioned um, Whale Rider before, and then the one that you just mentioned. Um, yeah. Maybe you could talk more about that. Definitely. Um, so I, I had mentioned Story of God recently, uh, earlier, but um, right now we have this incredible partnership with participant uh, films, the creators of He Made Me Malala, and we have a discussion guide as well as a full 100 plus page uh, lesson plan, uh, educational guide, and the lessons um, really cover social studies, English, uh, language arts, all sorts of uh, visual arts. But one of the things that's been great to witness through social media, along with work with teachers who've emailed us about it, is the, the interaction of Malala's story to their own, that they might not be in the same circumstance, of course, but their strength um, and also their vulnerability of Malala being a teenager and, and sharing in, you know, going to a new school and being just as nervous to see if girls will like her or boys will talk with her, what, what, um, what her experiences of, of being a different culture and community. And so when we've been working with participants, uh, a lot of teachers have created interactive activities to think about leadership in, in uh, forwarding girls' education throughout the world. And so uh, they're doing fundraisers, they're doing um, visual art to express themselves around uh, how Malala is, is represented and how that connects to their story. So um, I really just love that it's such a versatile film to talk it about Pakistan and girls' leadership and education, but equity coming mm -hmm. from the universality of what your basic vulnerabilities are as a community, as a young person, and as an adult in the world. Um, so I'm, I'm really enjoying how versatile our work is and that we, we can have teachers come to us and say, you know, I have a student that 
maybe isn't so familiar, wasn't, wasn't comfortable to speak up in class, but knowing that Malala's story uh, allows to take baby steps into what impact you want to make and how you do want to use your voice. It's, it's just been really lovely in, um, in that way. And do, you, do you either, all either three of you have any um, favorite memories or stories or experiences that have resonated throughout the years from students? Um, and seeing just the, the impact that these films have had and, and what that has done to their lives. Um, Kim, I'd like to answer um, one of the students that Wendy Millett mentored. Her name is Slater Jewel Kemker. And she wrote an essay about Jean-Michel Cousteau as her hero. And then she asked if she could meet him and make a short film about him. And Wendy mentored her in that process when she was about 12 years old. And Slater is now 23 years old and making a feature film on climate change with support from the World Bank. And Jean-Michel Cousteau telling Slater, I'm speaking to the young people and your voice matters. I've given up on speaking to the grown-ups. They're not listening. Um, resonated so clearly and loudly with this young filmmaker um, that it's and her passion, and um, you know, she, anyway, she's a beekeeper. She's an activist for climate change, and her work has been celebrated on My Hero as she's been growing up. So we've had the great privilege of watching her grow up and her see her skills improve, but keep her her passion has been growing as well. Um, and one other student like that is another. He was a subject of a documentary, a former child soldier who, when he was 10 went to school for the first time, became embraced by IEARN, one of your sponsors, and started going to IEARN to connect with kids around the world. And he's been working on films and telling people about peace. He graduated from um, George Washington and Peace and Conflict Resolution and is now a teacher for World Teacher. So for us to see this power of the collective helping mentor and nurture young people and use media to inspire them to stay hooked and passionate about their own causes has been so rewarding for us in the short, you know, in the sense of individual students like Mohammed and Slater. And you can see their work on My Hero if you research Mohammed Sidibe or Slater Jewel Kemper. Well, that's interesting. I wonder, um, it just makes me think about how media has really shifted in these last 10 years specifically, and what um, have you seen a change or I'm, I'm assuming that there's been a ma major increase in the way that media has really affected students, but I wonder if you could speak to that um, and how have you witnessed that, that change? Well, I could say, you know, directing the International Film Festival for My Hero you know, the level of the quality of content has increased significantly as the tools for digital media uh, storytelling are more accessible across the board. So that's pretty exciting. And then the delivery and ease of, of, of sharing files is also pretty remarkable. Uh, we also honored Malala um, a few years back, and it was... Um, Soon after she had been attacked, and we we wanted we needed some media for her. And Jeannie, through some email, somebody sent her a link to a, a children's chorus who was doing a, a tribute to Malala. And you know, like a day or so before our film festival, you know, the media was delivered, and we were able to have you know a piece of content that we could celebrate this amazing hero. And you know. Uh, five, six, seven years ago that it just those things wouldn't have been capable of happening. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> that is exciting. Um, I, I definitely um, agree with that as well. I could just chime in there. Um, I think that other part of that that's really interesting is that teachers have, just as the students have, they're surrounded by their phones and their technology and all the things that they have access. They have access to share media with them, but to continue the conversation of continual professional development and continual uh, collaborative lesson planning, I think, is a, a big part of what uh, broadens the story for teachers. Um, and we, when, when teachers come to us and share 
the impact that their students have had. We love that, but I love hearing testimonials of teachers of what's worked for them. And we really encouraged uh, collaborative cross-curricular teaching. So if you're mm -hmm. showing Will Rider, you can have uh, the art teacher do a unit on uh, doing mindful drawing of the whales. You can do science lessons on oceanography or all sorts of um, things that it really, that chunk of time that you show the film perhaps would be useful um, to be spread out across classes. And I, I've heard from teachers that they feel very supported by having thinking partners um, that way. Uh, and, and we love hearing that. So I think that if you can have educators just like you're creating this amazing opportunity with the Global Ed Week uh, that you, you all have been doing such amazing work with, they can continue to support each other. And we love that because that means the work can only deepen and the experience of the students can only deepen um, and being further connected to the world. Awesome. That's awesome, yeah. I'm, um, we've got a few minutes to go. And I'm wondering, um, can do either of you have, if this, you know, we only have 10 people listening now, but this is going to be recorded, so it's going to be available to a larger audience. Mm -hmm. Do either of you have any tips or tips for students to get them to, to really dive in, or also any tips for teachers? Yeah, I, um, I can, yes, I, I would say that, you know, for students to really think about what you care about, to really uh, search your soul, you know, by looking at heroes or however you do, and think about what you care about and then take action in whatever creative way you can. If it's through film and creating film, great. If it's through art or music or simply writing, you know, all of these things are, are important. And so um, it's it's the day of the activists, I believe. And that's what I encourage students to do. Definitely, I agree with that. And um, especially as summer is coming up, I think it's great during the year if a teacher shows a film in full and then goes back to show clips uh, to really break apart some of the, the meanings and connections and units you want to bring forward in terms of geography or history. Um, but Eileen Mattingly, our education director, she's always encouraging parents to also get involved um, in that conversation. So over the summer months, if you have a set of films you didn't get to in your classroom, invite the families to have movie night and share uh, classroom notes or things you might be going over in the next year, particularly around geography or culture. Um, and I think that makes parents feel it's a manageable activity to watch a film, discuss it, and have really reflective experiences with their children and then come back into the school year ready to continue that work and see media as a partnership. Um, I'd like That's to great. add, I think that Wendy Millette, you know, got her master's at USC School of Cinematic Arts, and then she spent a lot of time taking what she learned and tried to make it um, accessible to teachers and students. So if you look at myhero.com slash um, media arts resources, is that it, Wendy, the link? Or media arts. Um, she's collected some great guides and resources. One of them is from the American Film Institute. It's called Light Action Camera that you can download. And the technology may change, but a lot of those skills and um, resources are valuable, and, I, I, and they're free, and they're freely accessible. So I think that's a great place to start looking. And then I think the short film library, we have 3,000 short films in the My Hero screening room, um, and they, can, they tell stories of people from Africa, from the Middle East, from across the United States, elementary school, middle school, high school, and professional. So it's a good place to look at what other people are doing and then find your own passion and make your own film. So um, cell phones are working. They're great ways to tell stories with cell phones and the technology. You know, we hope it's accessible to anyone who wants to tell a story. And, and if you can't use a camera, start with a pen. Start with a painting and you know, maybe my hero or other places can help you tell your film, you know, if you if you need help. So that's well, thank you. Thank you to to all three of you. Um I'm gonna actually stop record here and we can continue for a little bit if we have any questions. Thank you so much for having us.